against each other. You can see this. I'll try and go up and down the rail here with a, an exercise that I have all of my horses do. A lot of things I do with my archery horses that I feel like they need. I need to be comfortable doing these things on my horses before I shoot off of their backs. One of them is a lot of dowel work um, or, or anything, spear or other, you know. Uh, but what I like to do is at the walk trot canter, if they're gonna be an archery horse, they have to be able to follow the rail uh, with my legs and seat while I feel comfortable enough putting this behind my back. Uh, walk, trot, and canter. Rising up, turning both directions, looking forward, looking back, looking back. Um, if I can't feel comfortable enough doing this on a horse, then I shouldn't be shooting on them. And I've done a lot of other different exercises like this in the past, but this one I've actually felt really good because if, if I find that I'm too nervous on my horse to send them off on the rail and do this, then they're not ready for me to shoot off of their backs. I'm never gonna shoot unless I feel 100% having my hands tied up. Uh, I feel 100% okay with having my hands somewhere where I can't let go immediately. Now this has a very quick out, so I practice this on all of them first, going up and over, letting it go so I can drop it. So we'll go up and down the rail. The other thing I forgot to mention too is also being comfortable doing this helps because we're going to do that with the bow now. So if I feel comfortable doing all the dowel stuff, walk, trot, and canter, I'm just doing this with the trot so you can see it and not going too fast. Um, both sides, right and left handed, lots of bow out, grab an arrow, arrow out, bow together, turning with the bow. Um, and I shouldn't have to, especially on the long sides of the arena, I shouldn't have to touch the reins. Now, if a horse goes into the center, that's okay. Um, you just let them, you know, they come in, they ignored your leg, circle them around, work them in a circle there, put them back on the rail eventually. They learn really quickly that Little circles are way more work than just following the rail. And they learn that you're not gonna nag them when they're just following the rail. And it can take time. He and I did this yesterday a ton. Uh, Cause he kept coming off the rail, he kept speeding up, he kept being naughty. So we did a lot of little circles and then I'd send him on the rail. And then he would pick up, you know, whatever the next gate was. And we'd circle and we'd do a bunch of circles and work and disengage and work and then I'd send him back on the rail. And that was entirely what we did yesterday at the walk, trot and canter. Um, and he remembered, so we're going to go do this at the trot with the bow.
Okay, if they're okay with that, then I do a lot of it back and forth. Occasionally shooting, not always shooting. A lot of knocking and drawing, knocking and drawing, bow in, bow out. Um, I don't always shoot at a target either. I will shoot uh, at the dirt, at the target. I don't let the horses think that I'm only gonna shoot when there's a target so that they start trying to predict when I'm actually going to release the arrow. Uh, I just try to desensitize them to the whole thing all the time so that they can't try to get away with something naughty that one little moment when I actually go to shoot. So they start to, because someone like him would catch on to that. He kept hearing the sound of the targets and he hated, he was fine if I was shooting in the dirt, he hated the sound of it hitting the target. So when we go by the target, he'd get tense. So I just keep shooting at everything, shooting at the ground, not shooting and burying it up a lot at the walk and the trot and the canter. Okay, hope that was helpful for any of you in quarantine training horses. Good job, everybody.